Okay, what's your name? Mark Anthony Verneza. And um, were you born and raised in the Philippines? I was born in the Philippines. I was raised there till I was about seven years old. And I, I guess, migrated, I guess you can say, or moved over to the U.S. here. And how many were in your family? There's four siblings, um, me being the oldest, younger sister, and two younger brothers. Um, what was it like growing up in the Philippines? Just from my childhood recollections, I, I do recall a lot, just a lot of fun times, you know, especially since it was during my childhood days. Um, although I did go there to the Philippines uh, every summer, when I came back, till I was about 12 or 13, I used to go every summer. And just during those times, I just remember um, the Philippines being a safe environment, being able to play outside, um, just a, a worry-free lifestyle, not having to really worry about anything. <laughs> when did you stop visiting um, in the summer? don't know the exact year, probably so I was about 13 years old, so about 8th eight, eighth grade. Do you remember what daily life was back then? Yes, it was uh, waking up to the sounds of uh, this guy, they call him kind of like the milkman, I guess you can say, but he carried, it's, it's, it's sweet tofu, one side was kind of like the syrup, the other side was like soft tofu, they call it taho in the Philippines, and uh, I just remember waking up every morning to the sound of this guy yelling out to her, um, as he sells it, walking up and down the streets. Um, that was kind of like my morning shake or morning meal. Um, and then, you know, lunch. Um, really, of course, obviously it didn't work, so I was, you know, still pretty young, but uh, in the daytime, Usually it's extremely hot, although my, my grandparents didn't own businesses um, in, the, in the market. They also own uh, apartment complexes, so occasionally I did have to just stay along or be with them and be at the store or <clears throat> collect money for the apartment rents. Um, and then dinner, just playing with uh, my cousins and relatives and just being in the street, playing a lot of sports like basketball. And, Doing fun things like catching fireflies and getting all dirty in the, in the mud, things like that, you know. So yeah. Um, what did your family do for a living, and were you um, well off or poor? Or I, I mean, I don't think my my grandparents, because in the Philippines, I, I say my grandparents, my parents were here, and they left me there. My grandparents, <clears throat> they weren't poor, but they weren't rich. They're well off. There really isn't a middle class in the Philippines. But I do have to say they were able to buy anything they wanted to buy, provide food on the table, um, and do whatever they wanted to do, all on a cash-only basis without credit, because back then, I guess in the Philippines, credit isn't really uh, a big thing there. So um, they own businesses, like I said, public market. They own a clothing company, a clothing store that sold clothing, um, and then my grand grandfather built um, about 72 apartment complexes and he rented them all out and so he had you know different complexes but 72 units total maybe a total of maybe six six different buildings this Seven, was, 72 units this was Nana and Tatai mm -hmm. you're talking about? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, did you do you know about the Marcos regime like, yes did you live through it uh, I remember that the Marcos regime because um, my family was pro Marcos, so, so they I, I think I think this was the sign. They supported him. Yes. Oh. I think this was the sign, and the other lady was this. So, <laughs> so uh, pro Marcos. Um, so you guys didn't have any? Were you in the Philippines during? I was. I was there. So uh, you didn't during have during the any... summertime, during election years, during even I even recall during the revolution I guess that's what it's called when they kicked them out of the uh, the office I remember those times yeah. you didn't have any problems or uh, I wasn't I think I was already here by that time uh -huh. but um, my family was definitely pro Marcos and uh, supported supported him and voted for him 
Yeah. Um, did your family plan to immigrate to the U.S.? Yes, they, my parents did immigrate to the United States. And that's the reason why I'm here, because after they immigrated here, they uh, brought my brothers and sisters and myself. And their original plan was actually to be in Chicago. Um, they, were, they had a job offer, both my parents in Chicago, and they stopped over in San Francisco overnight to be in Chicago. But they ended up just staying here in San Francisco. So, um, yeah.